What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got episode 5 of the Bush League coming at you for you guys. Uh, we're going to get right into the action here before we get to our big user versus user game at the end of the video. We got Pittsburgh and the LA Rams in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's driving down the field. Devlin Hodges hands the ball off to Benny Snell. Breaks a few tackles. Takes it to the end zone. And that is a touchdown for Benny Snell. Getting into the end zone. First rushing touchdown of the game. Third on the season. Uh, but the Steelers would unfortunately go on to lose that game 52-14, to effectively playing their way into the race for the number one overall draft slot. Uh, the L.A. Rams just took it to them on the defensive side of the ball. Devlin Hodges, one touchdown, two interceptions, only a 79 rating, 291 through the air, was slinging it around the yard, but Todd Gurley running all over this Pittsburgh defense. 127 on the ground and three touchdowns. Benny Snell, the touchdown you saw there in 47 yards on only eight attempts. Once again, not getting able to run the ball when they get down big. Nicole Hardman, 100 yards through the air. Even Todd Gurley, Juju Smith-Schuster, three catches, 45 yards. Not a bad day, but Aaron Donald, four sacks. Clay Matthews a sack and Dante Fowler a sack. This Rams team dominated the Pittsburgh Steelers O-line. Up next, we're heading out to Lambeau Field where Carolina and Green Bay are doing battle. Carolina down seven late in the second quarter. RG3 trying to drive this team down the field into its playoff spot. This team has been battling for weeks now. He drops back to pass, finds an open Christian McCaffrey, lobs a beautiful deep ball down the field. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey continues to go off for this Carolina Panthers team. That ties the game at 14. Late in the game now, 24-21, Carolina in the lead. Defense now, got to come up with a stop. Aaron Rodgers taking over, trying to drive this team down the field. Interception, Luke Keekley isn't touched, takes it all the way to the house. Carolina with the huge pick six to seal the victory. That puts Carolina into a beautiful position for the playoff race, as we will see later. But they go on to win the game 31-21. to As you can see, Luke Keekley putting the team on his back, RG3. One touchdown, no interceptions, a beautifully managed game for him. 178 through the air. Christian McCaffrey, 65 yards. Saquon Barkley finally getting the touches he deserves, and he gets in the end zone. RG3, nothing through the ground for him today. Evan Ingram leading the way through the air. Christian McCaffrey, that one long 40-yard touchdown you saw there. But here we go, the big game. User versus user, Minnesota and Dallas. Dak Prescott taking his team down the field early in the third quarter. It's been a defensive matchup all the way up through this point. He drops back. George Kittle open across the middle. Kendricks a step behind. George Kittle taking it into the end zone, putting Dallas up big early. It's still 7-0, fourth quarter. Dallas driving down the field again. Tries to find his tight end, but Anthony Barr is there this time to get the interception on Dak Prescott. Just couldn't find the end zone there, and Minnesota comes up with another big defensive play. The ensuing play, Kirk Cousins dropping back, shotgun formation. Can he get this Minnesota team to where they need to be? But no, he's sacked. It's a safety. Dallas goes up 9-0. Later in the game, Dallas is up 17-0, absolutely trouncing this Minnesota Vikings team. And Minnesota trying to battle back doing everything they can. They've tried everything this game, but they just couldn't find a way through this Dallas defense. Kirk Cousins dropping back in shotgun formation once again. Gets the snap. Dallas locking up all over the place. Tries to fire it down the sideline. Intercepted once again. Dallas would go on to win this game. Absolutely dominating the Minnesota Vikings, and that puts them in a great spot in the standings. They are now tied with the Chargers atop the NFL for the best record at 10-1. As you can see, the Chargers already clinched their playoff spot. The Vikings dropped down to 9-2, and two, and that means they are tied with the Bears in the NFC North, but they now are fighting for a wild card spot due to the fact that the Bears are the first in the NFC North, and Vikings dropped down to that fifth seed in the NFL playoff race. AFC side, it's all CPU teams as the three AFC teams are battling for that first overall pick. Steelers, Raiders, Jets doing battle for that number one overall pick to see who might get drafted. Panthers though, NFC South with that win they are now sole leaders of the NFC South. They are a game up on the New Orleans Saints and they are put themselves into a beautiful position to succeed. So thanks guys for joining. Next video should be the 
first round of the playoffs, and we will see who the number one overall pick goes to. Uh, we're getting to the end of this first year for the Bush League, so I hope you all are enjoying the series. Subscribe for more and like the video. That's always great, and I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day.